It's a horse barn. It's got four stalls. It's got two tack rooms, and it's got what we call the low profile um, roof. So it doesn't stand up too tall, uh, and it's real resistant to the weather. And we're gonna take a peek at it right now. It's a lot like our other horse barns, but a little bit different. Once you get inside, you'll see just what kind of awesome work Joe does for us. First thing you notice is that uh, the the metal roof. That's a 35 year metal roof, comes in about six or seven different colors. The exterior is board and batten, that's one inch thick, and each board is, is, um, is either uh, eight inches or, or two inches wide, that makes up the board and batten. Comes with uh, windows, as you can see, there's a vertical sliding windows. Get one per stall and one per tack room. And they're all built on six by six, pressure treated skids with metal tow hooks. And, uh, and the metal um, supports that uh, hold them together. So let's take a peek inside and see what this guy is all about. First thing you notice is that nice stain on there that Joe puts on there. This looks like it might be his medium, maybe his chestnut stain. The chestnut's usually a little bit, a little bit darker. We'll start with the foundation right here with the nice metal toe hooks and those big six by six beams that run the length with the exception of the middle of the, uh, the horse barn here. One thing I love too that you get is one of the big benefits of these huge wide open doors that you can get. Uh, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is a, is a carriage, you know, the Amish carriage, but you know, you want to get a couple horses in there, you need to get equipment in there, real easy. They're on these nice sliders right here, real heavy duty. The doors weigh a lot. I mean, they're not impossible to move, but they're heavy duty. Okay, let's move on inside. A lot of the uh, kickboards that you see here, all of them as a matter of fact, are oak kickboards. Let's get a wide shot here. You can see the double doors or Dutch doors all the way down with the, uh, the, metal, the metal bars everywhere to make sure that your horses and farm animals are nice and safe. It's real nicely constructed. It's probably a 12 foot ceiling up here to the peak. And it's nice what he does there. You can see that peak, he's got some light in there. You have some windows so you can see. Uh, and you get nice light right down in the middle. Okay, so you can see these the nice handles and with a nice uh, horse motif. And you got one opens the top of one. And the bottom. Absolutely perfect. Like I said in the past, uh, who do you want building your horse barns but the Amish? People that actually take horse and buggies to work and not drive cars like most people do. Well, Englishmen as they call it. So there's your kickboards with the chew guards all the way around. They're uh, one by eight oak kickboards, one inch thick. And even the windows have bars on them just to make sure that everybody's safe and protected. But it, um, you can see because of all the grates everywhere and the metal bars is that there's a lot of nice air. So it never gets stuffy in here. And you get a lot of nice air ventilation and circulation. All right, so that does it for that. Let's take a look inside one of the tack rooms. This one is a 32 by 32. And so the tack rooms have uh, have plywood on the floors. As you can see, that's 5 8 inch exterior grade. You can see the inside of the kickboards here. of the windows. And you can see these big uh, big 4x4s right there. Supports for the posts. The nice top header there. And the rafters. And you can see the purlins. It's all really nice quality wood. Top quality. I mean the best stuff you can get out there. So, really nice stuff. Yeah. Let's take a look around at the front side. Now we've got a good idea of what the insides look look like. Here's the front. Front again, just like the the, uh, the back. The exception of the doors have windows on them, so that's one one of the differences. This is assembled in two pieces. That's essentially one piece right there, and that's one piece. And then he provides the wood to make the rafters and to, and to form up the uh, the roof there. So. Real nice stuff here, guys. You won't find a better shed around. We can set them up and deliver it, and you'll have it ready to rock and roll in less than a day. So get